afternoon. Happy Monday, everybody. Well, we got the snow. It started snowing yesterday morning. Kind of light, and then it got kind of heavy, and it snowed all day and all night and overnight and today. We have several inches out there. I've only been in for a short while from shoveling, but I'm still hanging on to the weather report that we're supposed to be in the mid-60s by the middle of the week and then in the 70s by Thursday. But then it's going to go back to 41, but I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the 60s and 70s. So anyway, I quickly want to say a huge hello and send some Huge gentle hugs to Suzanne in Australia of Baby Bunting Nursery. If you all haven't heard, Suzanne um, in the UK has been keeping us updated uh, because Suzanne was in a car accident. Um, so we're thinking of you and sending prayers to you and lots of love and please take care. Get some Arnica gel. It'll help with the bruising. Oh. Car accidents can be so scary. I'm just so, so thankful that you're okay and that you are on the mend. Anyway, I wanted to come on today to wish Suzanne well, as well as everybody else. Hope everybody had a great weekend. Ours was kind of lazy, really. We didn't do a whole lot um, other than, you know, it did snow. So look, Malachi's got the little aphid under his hand. Oh, an aphid has invaded the frog lily pad. <laughs> But look, I think it the color matches nicely, don't y'all think? And I have put, for now, I haven't decided exactly. I just have Casey here perched for now on my trellis that Saffron and Sapphira hang from. And then I have the, the green and purple butterfly there between, well, kind of on top of, in the center of Abigail and Juliet. That's where I've placed them for now. I have to make the queen one, maybe in gray and yellow. Wouldn't that be fun? I think the queen would like that. Anyway, I am coming on right now. I said there were a couple tags I wanted to do, so I'm going to first do um, the one called I Am Dreaming of Tag by, Boonet, by Booties and Bonnets. That's her channel name, which I will link below, and I'll also write the questions down in the description for anybody else who would like to participate. It is a three question tag and I am going to go ahead and answer my question, answer the questions, but before I do, let's say hi to this sweet man. Look at him. Oh, oh. I did take his blankie off. I put some blue socks on his little feet to keep him toasty warm, which I thought the blue and camel color look nice together. I thought white, even though the buttons are kind of whitish, they're more of an opaque white. So I thought white socks were a bit stark. So I paired it with blue socks. And he's got his hands under his head, just, you know, reclining, relaxing, enjoying the day. He said, no little snow is going to get me down. Bless him. And then little Tink here, or Lucy Ray, is still under the blanket, though she has one arm out and her little fingers curled around the blanket on that side. So those three babies, the last three babies I showed, Lucy Ray says hi to her mommy. And the little Saskia boy says hi to his mommy. Now she's told me his name, and I think she said I can say it on here. Let me know, mommy, if I can say it on here. But I'm still going to call him, because I said, does he have a name yet? Because Saskia boy sounds so weird to me. And she, she agreed it did. So he says hi to his mommy. And sweet Ezra still is all snug as a bug in a rug under the little birdie blankie. She sends love to her mommy. And they'll do kisses at the end, of course. Oh, we haven't seen jean Vieve yet. Let's come around this way. So Miss Raggedy Ann says hi to all her fans out there. She has a few fans. And there's Miss jean Vieve sending love to her mama Chiquita. All right, I'm just going to kind of focus over. I'm going to step back and just have a big view, I guess, of the nursery and I'm going to answer these questions. Number one, if you could have your dream nursery, what would it look like? I'm very content with the nursery I have right now. Um, I will say when we were living in Texas, my husband and I were looking at tiny homes and we were going to get some land and get a tiny home. And then for myself, I was going to have a separate 
kind of like a shed. It was actually two stories and one floor was going to be where I painted and the other floor was going to be my nursery. So of course I had mentally decorated it and um, I would love, I, I do miss the day bed that I had in Ohio and Texas. I really liked that because I could set up several babies. It was also the perfect height when I sat in a chair to sit and change babies. I now utilize this space, um, this here is about a similar height um, that I have the boppy loungers on, but I really liked the day bed. So I would like it to have a day bed. Another thing I would love, I mean, I would obviously have all these things dotted around that I have in here, the Moses baskets on the stands and then the Moses baskets that are not on stands. Um, I would love a wardrobe, like a proper vintage wardrobe to hang the clothes and use the drawers for storage. I love um, armoires is what I should say. It's an ar that's what I want is a beautiful armoire um, or a couple of them. I just think they're such statement pieces. I love doors. I don't know if I've shared that with you guys before. Um, I have photographed doors all over the world um, and armoires, you know, the whole front is just basically doors and I just love them. And so I would love a couple armoires. Um, but other than that, pretty much all the stuff I have here, I think a lot of the art that is on these walls would probably be where I paint. And I would have, um, I don't know what I would have on the walls, but I would love a day bed and maybe a, a, a crib, like a proper crib. Um, or even just a little bit bigger than the one I have my Atticus kit in. But I'm very content with what I have right now. But that was what my vision was when I was when we were going to be doing that. But um, things change, and I'm adaptable. So, um, but I really love my nursery here, and it's always you know changing, and I find different things and move things in, and um, so anyway, that is my answer to that. Number two, you can choose up to four reborns. Imagine they came to life for a week. How would you spend your time with the babies? Now that's a hard one. We've had this, a similar question before and um, not that I wouldn't love some of my reborns to come to life, but I think it would be so hard after the week. Um, you know, I guess I would appreciate the week, but then it would be sad to me to look at them and they're no longer alive. I know that sounds probably really weird, but um, but if I would choose, I, I would want Saffron and Sapphira to come to life. Let's all take a moment and look at Atticus and Scout and just enjoy the beauty of Debbie's beautiful work. Oh, Debbie of Mad Hatter DJ drew that for me. Isn't that stunning? i got to go back so you can see the whole thing. Oh, I just love that. Thank you again. Um, I would pick Saffron and Sapphira. Um, anybody who's new to my channel, those are my favorites. Um, I'm allowed to have favorites, and I do. Um, I love tiny babies. I always have, even humans. Uh, I know a lot of people can be a little um, afraid or skittish to hold preemies. I never have been. Um, I've held some very, very tiny, tiny babies, like just fitting in my hands. And I, j I don't know. I marvel at the miracle of it, that years down the road. I mean, everything is there for this being to grow up and it just, it fascinates me. And, um, I would love these to, oh my word. But again, at the end of the week, it would be so sad for them to stop being alive. Um, I just love these two. I know there, this is a kit that, um, I think requires, I don't know, either you love it or you don't. I, I mean, a lot of people don't love this kit, and I, I don't really care. I love this kit. Um, I know some people think this kit is ugly, but I don't know. I have loved this kit from the minute I saw it, and these two are just, oh, they're, I love they're, I love Saffron and Sapphira so much. I would bring them to life. Um, and I think two would be enough. Four babies at once? No. Mm -mm, two is enough. Okay, third question. You are handed a check for $600. Would you rather spend it on buying a reborn or to buy baby items? I have to divert and say I would buy kits. Um, yeah, I would buy kits 
And since it, it seems like the question is something that's for myself, meaning a baby for myself or baby items for my personal babies, I would buy some keeper kits that are older kits that now cost probably, you know, half of or a third of a reborn baby. Yep, that's what I would do. I would buy kits. So that is my, those are my answers to the I Am Dreaming of tag by Booties and Bonnets. And again, I will link that, her original video down below as well as write out the questions. And then I do want to come back another day and do her Londa has a fabulous tag about travel. <gasps> I had to write under it. It was right up my alley. That is so me. I love travel so, so, so much. So I am going to participate in Herlanda's tag. And Herlanda actually has a fabulous video up that she posted. I'm not sure if it posted last night or this morning. I watched it this morning um, while I was uh, doing my housework and stuff. And it is really, really good about, she's been in the community, I believe she said almost six years. And it's kind of like things that she learned. And it, it really is a good video. So if y'all haven't watched that, um, please head on over and watch that. I'll put a link to that down below as well. So anyway, everybody, I do hope your week has started off well. And if you are also where there is snow, keep up the positive thoughts about spring. It is right around the corner. <laughs> My mom is in Illinois and they are getting snow. We talked about it a half an hour ago and they were getting snow. So it's heading that direction. So, And remember to find your joy each and every day. Find something to be joyful for. And um, uh, my joy right now is all my housework is done. The shoveling is done because that's not a normal. That's a bonus. Um, so I get to go paint. Uh, I'm going to be painting until my husband comes for lunch, which should be shortly because I think it's already almost 1.30. Um, and then we'll see after that. I might keep painting since I don't have a head to root right now. But I also might crochet. We'll just kind of see how the day goes. Um Anyway, I did get caught up on my comments this morning because I did last week, I don't know if I mentioned this, I did one of those um, foot masks for your feet and then you're supposed to soak your feet every day and then your feet peel. Oh, it's so fascinating to me. When I was a little girl, my feet peeled um, and I loved it and I didn't realize how much I missed it till I did this mask. I know that's kind of gross, but probably a little too much information, but I am loving it. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Um, and so anyway, I was soaking my feet this morning and while I did that, I was able to catch up on my comments. Um, so anyway, but this little sweet baby girl sends kisses and lots of love to her mommy and this sweet baby boy. Let's see, little man, can we take a hand out from under so you can send your mommy some love? There we go. We'll put it right back there. Bless him. Let's fix your hair. Got a little out of place. We can't have that, can we? And this little sweet Lucy Ray is going to send her mama some love. And there we are. And I don't think I showed Mr. Atticus. There he is. I showed the drawing of Atticus, but not the kid of Atticus. All right, everybody. Again, have a blessed day today, and I will be back some point later this week to do her Londa's tag, as well as hopefully I'll have some works in progress um, of Asriel. I have been working diligently on him. Um, so anyway, hope I'm hoping to finish painting him this week, but of course <clears throat> it'll take a little time for him to get rooted because... He has kind of a big head. So anyway, everybody, do have a blessed day today, and thank you for stopping by.